With less than a year to go for the next World Cup, you are the surviving members. How have you kept at the top for so long? Um, I'm not sure about keeping at the top for so long. I think it's just, uh, you know, some boys have progressed on. You know, Alid Brew, Rhys Webb, you know, they've uh, progressed in 15s and got uh, Welsh recognition. I think we've uh, just been sticking at the sevens. You know, it's, it's changed somewhat since then. Um, you know, the attitude of the coaches is it's a lot more professional. It's a lot more... Um, I think under the radio, you know, under the camera, and kind of everything's inspected. So it's uh, it's a lot tougher now, but uh, I think we've just managed to dig in, really. I know it was a few years ago, but what are your memories of winning the World Cup? Well, it's just brilliant, brilliant moment, really. Um, you know, we, if we were honest, we didn't expect to to go and win it. Obviously, in the back of our minds, we we knew we had a chance because a few weeks before we beat New Zealand in New Zealand, so. We knew we had a chance in the World Cup and uh, we just went out game by game and uh, thankfully we uh, came through. You won your opening two, I don't think I remember, but you won your opening two poor games quite convincingly, then lost to Argentina. Did you think then that you'd blown your chance to get into the knockout stages? Um, yes, I know, to be honest. Um, we knew going into the game we had a 12 point cushion to play with even if we lost. And uh, I think that hampered us a little bit because we were basically just playing for that 12 point deficit. Uh, obviously, we lost 14 0. So we did have to rely on other results, but uh, I think going into the game, it was, there was too much points difference in our back of our minds, and uh, we just didn't perform on, in that game. And as Faye would have it, as you say, you were one of the best two runner-up qualifiers that then pitted you against New Zealand. Was that a major concern? Um, not really. Like like Lee said, um, you know, in Wellington, four weeks before, you know, the. Uh, the boys put their win over them, and uh, I think that was a huge boost of confidence. I I came into the squad. I wasn't involved in that first game, and uh, I could just tell. I think the difference, the confidence, you know, in the boys. There was just that belief that going into that game, that we knew that we could turn them over, and uh, and it just happened. You know, everything went right in that game. At what point did you think you'd actually sign that game up? <laughs> Not until the final whistle <laughs> went, I think. Yeah. Because uh, they had a little break at the end. Um, thankfully, I think it was Ali Thomas and uh, Macti. Um, managed to cover for us and uh, turned it over and out in the touch. Yeah, I think it was just then. The abiding memory for me from that game is you, Lee, that 60 metre run, swerve at the end, and you managed to score. What do you remember of it? Yeah, I just uh, saw, saw a little gap on the blind side and uh, man managed to run it in. But um, You didn't look that pleased when you'd scored it. No, it was, it was <laughs> very early on in the game, so I knew there was a lot of hard work to come. And um, thankfully, you know, not, not just the seven who started the game, you know, people like Tommy Isaacs who came on and scored. And of course, Richie, your, your try was important as well. Yeah, it was important, but it was a bit it was a bit easier than the other two tries. I think uh, you know Lee did the hard work. He stepped, uh, I think two two steps, drew the man, and um, I was able to put in on the touchline. So it was uh, yeah, it was nice to get a try. But like like Lee said, there was there was a lot of rugby left to be played, and um, we just had to hold on to the end. And uh, thankfully, we managed to. Then of course you bit Samoa in the semi, and then it was Argentina again in the final. What was going through the heads? Because obviously you'd lost to them in the pool games. I don't know. I think we, it was the first opportunity that we've ever had to to make a final, and you know the fact it was a World Cup. You know, it was uh, obviously a huge occasion for us. But um, I think the whole the whole vibe we were buzzing from it, and uh, you know it, it was a 20 minute final, first time that we'd we played in that. But it just well, I, I to be honest, can't remember much of it. It was one of them, them cases that it was just an amazing moment. Yeah, I do, I do remember briefly. You know, the adrenaline obviously would get us through, but. We played Argentina on the side pitch in the group game, which is a narrower pitch, which suited them more than us, really, because they're quite good in the contact area. So that extra little bit of space on the main pitch, I think, in the back of our heads would help us, and uh, obviously did. So next year, Moscow, what would it mean to go back there and defend your title? Oh, obviously, it would, uh, it would be huge. You know, there's going to be... Uh, an eye on us this time. I think obviously we go in there as defending champions, but um, you know it's a completely different group of boys. You know, hopefully myself and Lee will be involved. Um, but it's it's a different team now, and uh, I think we've just got to make sure that the boys go in there believing that we can do it. And uh, I think we've shown this season, you know, with some of our performances, that we can do it and we're capable of doing it. And obviously before that, there's the IRB World Series to uh, to, to look at and a new venue with Argentina. You're looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely. You know, when a new uh, when a new uh, place comes up on the circuit, you always get excited by that. It's uh, somewhere different, and uh, it's another part of the world that you know, we're fortunate to go to. And uh, La Plata, you know, sounds an uh, exciting place to play. You know, joint up with the Gold Coast, so um, you know that's first step in 
two or three months' time. So I think we're just building hard for that now. And trying last year you eventually finished eighth. Were you happy with that? Satisfied or disappointed? I think we were we were disappointed because yeah we put ourselves in a good position after four or five rounds where we were in sixth seventh place and um, I think that's you know where we wanted to be that's you know that was our target at the start of the season and I think uh, Argentina pipped us at the end of the year with a few um, with a few better results and it was disappointing for us because you know there was a lot of points up for stake and uh, we did just slip off for a bit but. Um, I think we'll just have to use that as motivation now this year and make sure that uh, we work on uh, on the point system. Because of course last year you bet South Africa for the first time, it's a monkey off your back. What are the aims this year? Uh, we've got to have a final um, in my book. Um, I think we've had five semi-finals, maybe six now, um, which we haven't progressed in. And last year we went to seven quarter-finals, which we didn't progress in. So I think if we can get to a minimum semis, uh, before Christmas and then even a final, I think that'll be a huge boost for the boys in terms of confidence for the for, for the for the next year on the World Cup. So, so, what's the difference of making it from the quarterfinals to the semi-finals? Is it a bit of luck on the day, or bouncing the ball, or it can be? But I think it's just a case of us going in. You know, it's cut, trying to you know you're playing against the best. That's when the competition gets. Uh, Real important, real, real tough. Everyone's fighting for those places, and um, we've just got to lift our standards. We uh, we dropped off it a few times, and it was just those one or two key moments in a game, which was the difference between, as you say, a quarter final place and a semi final place. And um, I think that's what we're they're trying to drill into us now. This pre season is uh, how we got to be clinical when you know under that fatigue, under that pressure, you know, and we can't afford to uh, drop those try scoring passes or um, just those missed opportunities, really.